What are some of the lies and truths about early America? Al Maghrib Institute presents Q&A with Dr. Abdullah Hakim Quick. When we go back into the pages of history, we understand that America in the early phase was not the America that we know today. People think that the America stretches all the way across uh, North America and into Hawaii. But the reality was the early Americas were only 13 colonies on the East Coast. And these embattled colonies actually benefited from the native people. It is recognized that Benjamin Franklin went into the Iroquois society and he found that they had a federation. They had a unity between different tribes and he brought this understanding back to Philadelphia and the Constitution of the United States was developed. And instead of an eagle holding six arrows like the Iroquois First Nation had, it was an eagle holding 13. It's also not known that Muslims actually had a great influence on early America. When we talk about making America great, going back in our history, the founding fathers, we should recognize the fact that George Washington had an agreement with the Sultan of Morocco, Muhammad ibn Abdullah, the great leader of Al Maghrib. And it was the Moroccan uh, nation who was the first outside power to recognize the United States. And this treaty, which is still found in Tangiers, Morocco, states very clearly that any Muslims, any Moors, any people who could be described as part of this society, if they fall in slavery, they should immediately be released. It is one of the Moroccans, actually, even before this, this time, around 1527, Estevanico, he actually traveled across from Florida uh, with the Spanish, and he was one of the first three non-natives to reach uh, uh, Arizona and New Mexico. He is a very famous person up until day, till today in American history. So what is covered up is the presence of Muslims. You will think that Muslims just came in the 20th century or the 21st century, but no. All the way through, the founding of America, Revolutionary War, the Civil Wars, World War I, World War II, all the way through, Muslims were living in America, having an impact, giving their lives, and part of the society itself. And it's time for us to recognize it. It's time for us to uncover the lies, to bring forward the truth, so that Muslims themselves and the general population understand that we are not people who just came off the boat. We were actually on the early boats that came before Columbus. We were on the early boats that settled in this society. We actually intermingled with the native First Nations people, the indigenous people. That is the reality that needs to come to the surface. And it is about time in the 21st century, in a world known for fake news and lies, that we bring forward this truth to the Muslim community and the people.